<laughs> Hi, I'm Becca from Hello Baby. I'm the editor-in-chief here at Babylist, and today I'm gonna to go over a few of the important factors when deciding what bottle to buy for your family. First, if you feed your baby formula or express breast milk, there are different bottles that might be better for each situation. Specifically for formula feeding families, the Mixie is a great option because it has a compartment in the bottom that you can pre-fill with formula hours before your child needs it. Other bottles like the Philips Event make it really easy to mix the formula in the bottle. Some, like the Dr. Brown's and the Playtex Nurser, require you to pre-mix the formula in a mixing cup or somewhere else before putting it in the bottle, which can kind of be a drag. If your baby is going to be going back and forth between breastfeeding and bottle feeding, some bottles are specifically designed with nipples that mimic mom and mimic the feeling of latching, so they can be a lot easier for babies who are going back and forth. Next, colic. We don't really know why some babies struggle with colic, but it's often caused by excess air in the stomach. Some bottles, like the Dr. Brown's, have this nice straw that pushes air to the bottom of the bottle, keeping it out of the baby's tummy. And other bottles have anti-colic features like an air valve on the nipple or on the bottom of the bottle that you can remove while the baby's eating to help prevent the air from getting into their tummies. The next big question is glass versus plastic. Though most bottles today on the market are BPA free, some parents are still concerned about plastic exposure. Glass, however, is more expensive and there's a breakage risk. Some parents really love the Life Factory bottles because they have a silicone sleeve that prevents breakage. Lots of other bottles like the Dr. Brown's have a glass version as well as a plastic version. Some daycares require plastic bottles, so you might wanna have a glass version to use at home, but a plastic version that goes with your baby. Lastly, price. Some bottles are relatively inexpensive at three or $4 each, while others can run more than $15 a piece. You'll want enough bottles to last you through a day without washing, which could be six or even eight, depending on how soon you start bottle feeding. Because of this, price can really add up. I hope this helps you make a decision about the best bottle for your family. Thanks for watching.